So the sail fin is another um, small lightweight extruder that uses the uh, NEMA 14 that's found in the uh, Extrudor and also the Sherper Mini. I think these are all derivatives of the uh, Sherper Mini. Um, and this one is made by uh, the same guy that created the, um, what he calls the Croxy 3D printer, um, which is a printer that has uh, dual X and Y moving gantries uh, that kind of cross each other, which is kind of also similar to the Annex Engineering, uh, some of their high-end printers. Uh, so wants to see something a little different you can check out those they they can print very fast since they've got twice the number of x and y motors uh, moving uh, the gantry uh, anyway so this one i found i modified it to work with the eva system that's uh, found on the rat rig and other uh, printers uh, so this is the one that works with the eva um, backplate which is here and it's just got um, a little mod on the the one side here so that when this is mounted it makes room, has enough room for the little ear on the uh, motor there. So I'll show you how it's put together real quick and then you can see it in action. So again, we've only got like four pieces, uh, pretty easy to print. They print just like this. Uh, the back piece, I guess, which is, is this one here, um, it's where the motor will connect to like that. So. This one, you're gonna just take one of your bearings, press this in the bottom here, just like that. And that'll be uh, housing on your shaft. And then the middle piece, which goes like that. Uh, this one, I remixed a little bit. Um, I, I um, added a captured nut. Uh, the original design had a lot of the uh, melt-in uh, uh, threaded anchors which I don't have any of those. Um, I typically don't use them uh, because good ones are kind of expensive and hard to find so I just made a couple spots for a capture nut here and then one in the arm here that just uh, for the cover so I use a square nut whenever I embed things like that and it just makes it um, easier they don't the nuts won't spin uh, when you go to thread through it. So that one just goes there and then um, same thing as with the the other extruder the HX uh, this piece, uh, the gear is going to go in through the back, and then uh, the gear goes in like this. And it's pretty easy to line up. You just tighten down your rub spoon, rub screw, like so. And then from here, you're going to want to start putting it on uh, your printer with uh, your back plate here. That's going to go on like that, or actually back goes first like this and then it will go on you need to put that that uh, screw in first through there and then this will go on on top uh, like that so uh, for now I'm just going to assemble it like this then you have your, your lever and then um, your top piece which put your bearing in there or actually just put it on here first a little, usually a little easier and this will kind of snap on once that snaps on you take your M3 and it will go all the way through and basically line up with the uh, captured nut on the back Longer M3, this one will function as the hinge for your tension lever. And uh, again, I kind of changed the part a little bit so that it fit really snug around this M3 and it's just barely long enough uh, to go through. But there is clearance under the gear, so if it does go through, it doesn't matter. And one thing to note is um, I did use the included pin for the tension gear. Uh, in the other video, I did use an M3 nut, which uh, probably isn't the right thing to do because if you use an M3, I'm sorry, an M3 bolt, you will have a little tiny bit of play on the gear. So I just went ahead and just pressed the, the pin, that three millimeter pin that comes with the, 
the uh, BMG extruder right in the spot there. And then for the other side, you'll see where this goes right there. You just need a small M3 bolt and that will hold it securely. And then for the tension, I just use another capture nut right there. And it works well with this. And then once this is on your, um, your printer, you would put in the screws that go through to the motor. So one on the bottom here. And your motor goes on that first side. And the cool thing about this, once you get it lined up, I'll show you here in a second. And once you get the bottom part of the motor on, uh, you'll notice that their top hole here is slotted. So this allows you to basically adjust the motor so that the gear is meshing correctly uh, with the plastic drive gear here. And you can feel that um, there is a little bit of play that you can adjust. So I can push this down uh, so that I, I've got good, you know, s secure position on the motor and just when you drive the screw through it tightens up on the um, back of the motor and you won't have any play in this gear. Now one thing I do like about this other than it's really s simplistic design is that you do have access um, to the gear here and you can turn it by hand with your thumb or your finger. And that's helpful, like if you just want to advance your um, film in a little bit when you, before you start a print, just like a little bit of purge, or um, just to make sure that nothing is binding. But um, this little thing looks pretty good, and I'm putting it on my uh, Rat Rig uh, V-Core 3, and I'll show you how it does there.